Yeah, but hey everybody, this is going to be another fluff reading. This time I've chosen the fluff from the Tyranid data slate, mostly because I doubt anybody will ever be reading this. Because how many people buy data slates? However, I hope that will change for my other videos. And it's going to detail how the opening invasion of a Tyranid high fleet onto a planet. It's called the Gathering Darkness. Governor Balarax stood with tech adept Baltak Trin in the observatory of the Sky Palace, the tallest structure on Satris. Together, they peered up through the clear dome into the darkness beyond. The governor asked the tech adept what he thought was wrong with this scene. Baltrak Trin pulled back his hood. He blinked with his left eye while his bionic lenses whirred and twisted in his right. Trin was trying to fathom what was different about the stars when one of them disappeared. In its place was total darkness. The skies were going dark. The stars were vanishing, the tech adept muttered, his voice distorted by the grating mechanics. Governor Balorax gave a sad smile. Baltrak Trin, despite having spent most of his life underground, was right. The stars were vanishing. He had seen it himself through the telescopic cogitator many days ago, and in great detail. The blackening of whole systems, the famous saintly lights being smothered. It didn't seem possible that so many bright lights in the Imperium could be extinguished, yet it was happening, and the darkness was now gathering around Balorax's own system. You are quite correct, Balorax replied. What is making them vanish? Baltrak Trin asked. I cannot perceive it at this range. The reason had a thousand names across a thousand worlds, but they all boiled down to the same thing. The Great Devourer. The Doom of All Things. Because of an alien race, Balorex thought, he might as well be blunt about it. The Tyranids. They destroy world after world without the slightest hesitation, and they are making their way towards us. The governor took his gaze away from the darkening stars and looked down across his own world, Satris. Part jungle, part manufactorum. It had been under the charge of generations of his family in the name of the emperor of mankind. Thanks to the aid of imperial forces, Satris had fought numerous wars and triumphed every single time. His great-grandfather had even fought alongside the revered blood angels here and earned himself a place in local legend. There was history on this planet, this ancient imperial world, despite its lethal sun. Its people had endured for millennia. They were hard enough and worthy enough, some of them, to even have become space marines. And now the Tyranids were coming, ready to devour all of that in the blink of an eye. The governor decided to take a more optimistic tone. Worry not, tech adept. You'll keep the fires burning. Days ago we called for aid. We have old friends who may assist us, and besides, we have many good warriors on the planet already. Adeptus Astartes and Catechins. They'll not permit the planet to fall. A man suddenly rushed into the dome, sweat on his bald pate, and his robes disheveled from the journey. It was one of Balorax's hundreds of menials. The governor couldn't remember his name. G governor Balorax, the man sputtered. Communications off-world are no longer functioning. We've been completely cut off. Balorax gave another one of his sad smiles. Yes, I thought that would be the case. The astropaths, the man replied. Perhaps we can still use them. 
<laughs> it's far too late to use the choir now, Balorex replied. Sir? The man, the menial, looked puzzled. <laughs> Find a psyker. Ask them how they're feeling, the governor snapped. One of his own household had already killed himself. Anyways, it is a good thing, is it not, that I took Captain Narinci's advice? I have already made use of the visionary pleas of our choir. In the ensuing silence, the menial looked between the governor and the tech adept. He replied, What are your orders, my lord? The governor took a deep breath and tried his best to hide his shaking hands. Alert the Aurora chapter and update them. Captain Norinces will be in charge of the operation and it will be his orders that are followed. Send word out to both the Katachin residents that our isolation is now complete. They are to prepare defenses around the Archeo ships and processing manufactorums. Until then, well, until then, the rest of us simply wait for the darkness to close in. And that's the introduction. I've decided to make shorter bits of this because people like shorter bits. Next chapter is going to be called The Cursed Sun.